hello everyone welcome back to ziki's world thank you so much for stopping by how are you all doing i hope you guys are having a very beautiful day thank you my old subscribers for coming back to watch my video and to you that is stopping by i want you to subscribe to be a part of my family so guys in today's video i am going to share with you how to make this delicious and yummy vegetable sauce with just a few ingredients around your kitchen and if you like this video i want you to give me a thumbs up and if you also want to see how i achieve this delicious recipe keep watching do not go anywhere let me show you all the ingredients we will use to make this so guys these are the list of all the ingredients i'll be using i have over the three carrots i'll be using this particular carrot like it's something new to me i just bought it from the store and the two other regular carrots i have my spring onions i have one tomatoes and one onion over there is my chicken thigh i'll be using for this recipe i have garlic powder rosemary curry powder i have onion powder I'll be also using parsley flakes and also chicken bouillon flavor and uh, I also have because the skin is not smooth enough there are some places that needed to be taken out so i use my pillar to peel the carrots then we are going to slice it so this is exactly what i have right now guys i love the color combination of this carrot i got this carrot from um costco and it's called rainbow carrot it have different colors of carrot but i'm using this for this recipe so this is what I am working with. You can cut it to any desired sizes, just whatsoever you want. But this is what I want. Guys, have you seen this particular color of carrot? <laughs> I love it because it's something new and something, you know, colorful to, you know, add to this pot of uh, sauce. So finally, I am cutting this uh, particular carrot to this uh, size. You know, I just feel like varieties have a variety in my pot of sauce okay <laughs> so yeah this is what i have for the carrots now i'm going to go ahead and slice my spring onion
they don't peel the potato skin like <laughs> i find it a kind of strange when i came to this country some people like most people they don't peel potato skin i'm learning to do that but for now i'm going to peel the skin okay <laughs> let me know in the comment section do you peel your potato skin or do you just um cook it like that so yeah this is how i want my potato to look like so i'm going to continue peeling it then after i'm going to add it to the pot and start cooking so after peeling the potatoes i wash it and add it to the pot let it cook so cover the pot and let it cook for about 15 minutes while it's cooking let's check the chicken we are multi-taxing at the same time <laughs> so after about 10 minutes we are going to add the onions the uh, sliced onions inside the pot so just add that because by now the chicken is cooked so we're just going to add the vegetables and let it cook for a few minutes and this sauce is ready guys be getting ready because we're going to enjoy this okay <laughs> so i added the the um, carrot because you know carrot is the hardest of all the vegetables i have over there so i add the carrot and cover the pot and let it cook for just uh, two minutes because we don't want to overcook these vegetables we want it to be fresh so guys i'm adding broccoli i'm sorry i didn't show you guys but i just find out i have broccoli in my fridge i said why not add it to the pot of sauce so after that i add the bell pepper and the spring onions guys did you see how fresh how colorful how delicious this looks like so give it a quick stir and um yeah cover the pot and let it cook for just another two minutes and the sauce is ready so guys after about two minutes let's check the sauce guys the sauce is ready the sauce is ready everything is still fresh so i don't want to overcook it make sure everything is cooking on a very low heat but before you turn off this we are going to test for salt we don't want our visitor to complain we don't want our kids our husband to complain okay test for salt and see if you needed adjustment but as it is right now i do not need to add any salt so i added about one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with water to thicken the sauce because this sauce you can use it to eat your white rice but for today we are eating it with potato so guys after about a minute guys this is the chief for this occasion which is soy sauce you cannot make vegetable sauce without soy sauce so i added about one to two tablespoon of soy sauce i'm going to you know quickly stir it and let it just simmer for about two minutes on a very low heat and this sauce is ready guys it's so simple it's super easy it's something that you can easily fix for yourself or for your family just this week to enjoy you know so yes we are going to bring it close for you to see what is happening inside the pot so give it a quick stir while it's simmering for about two minutes and then the sauce is ready okay so while the pot of sauce is just uh, cooking on a very low heat we are going to check our potato after about 15 to 20 minutes and see if it's ready so now the potato is well cooked we are going to take it out from the water and do one more thing i'm going to show you what i'm doing okay this is something new you've not seen it before so stay tuned if you're still here at this time i really appreciate you i really you know want to say a very big thank you for the support and the love okay subscribe so now back to the pot i added about one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil guys now i'm going to be adding this parsley flakes like I want to have this you know green flakes inside this uh, potato and how am i going to achieve that by adding a little bit of oil so that this flakes will stick in this potato okay this is really really simple to make you know i just want to add something new to my recipe 
So just use the spatula and flip it around gradually because this potato is really really soft and this is ready just in two minutes flip it is ready so guys we have come to the end of this video but before you leave give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about this sauce in the comment section share this video to your family to your friends and guys i really appreciate your love may god bless you for me so guys in the evening i have to mix this sauce with potato to make it porridge which one do you prefer <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate all of you and i will see you guys in my next video have a beautiful week bye